there, everybody. Hi. Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. I'm uh, Steve Skelton. I'm here with fellow Film Pigs Stephen Falk and Todd Robert Anderson. Mm. And we're enjoying a little popcorn. Mm, popcorn. Get your popcorn. Delicious, popcorn. Delicious. Popcorn. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, now, mm, uh, mm. we still are on hiatus, much like our sister show, Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. much like that, we're low rated. <laughs> <laughs> and not like that, we're not critically regarded. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, yeah we got, know. yeah. But, uh, so, uh, to tide you over, we're, we're bringing you another uh, hand-picked, hand-crafted clip show. This time, featuring our world-class impressions. <gasps> what? Everybody oh. knows impressions are the cornerstone of good comedy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can't do comedy without impressions. Don't, don't think these the actual people were on the show. It's, yeah. it's just it's us. Yeah. I, I want to make just, that clear. Just, we have to make that clear, legally. Before, before yeah. we go we into second letters, yeah. how'd you get all these big stars? Yeah. It's, 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 it's us. Yeah. These, it's are, us. these yeah. are uncanny impressions. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm film pig Todd Anderson. This is the part of the show where we normally show you a trailer for an upcoming film. And this week we were going to show you an action-packed trailer with explosions and gunfighting and all that stuff, but we couldn't find one. Luckily, Sylvester Stallone is here to explain why. Sly? Okay, allow me to translate. Sly says, Hello, America. What the hell has happened to you? First, you blow off my boy Arnold's The Last Stand. Then, you blow off my other boy's movie, Parker. Worst of all, you blow off my movie, Bullet to the Head, and now all the stupid critics are talking talking smack about the new Die Hard movie. <laughs> Traditional American cinema is about good guys killing bad guys. <laughs> but you don't want that anymore? Um, you want your heroes to wear tights and have superpowers? That is fantasy for children. I want my America back, the America that had balls. Okay. Uh, all right, I didn't quite catch what he said there, but I think you get the point. Hopefully next week we'll have an actual trailer for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, it'll probably involve gay vampires. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Sly. It's all right. Ah. Okay. All right. It's all right. Cry it out. Cry it out. In a scared post-recession America that loves reboots and remakes, now, I must get to the Piggly Wiggly, but my fat-ass son took away my driver's license. <sighs> Jiminy cracking horse feathers, I'm a sour old lady. And doesn't like to look at its racial history unless it's with a heaping helping of humor. Now, what's this now? Well, who is that Negro driving my car? Well, I'll be a passel of Nickelback. Is that... Yes, I'm flirting and flirting, Miss Daisy. I'm the one who's gonna take you in the car. It's got all the things and all the lessons, and you will make you smile. Bill Cosby and Jessica Chastain in old lady makeup star in that Oscar-winning movie, Driving Miss Daisy, but even funnier, you know, because the economy. Slow down, Hoke. You know I like to go under the speed limit. Oh, I agree, Miss Daisy, because of the roads and the smaller governments and the people doing the things with the thing in the flooded field Florida. Did you remember to have the air conditioning checked? I told you to have the air conditioning checked. I did, Miss Daisy, but if you're still on, I might have a little suggestion. 
Well, what is it? Oh, oh, oh. Your wacky ways soothe my fears at that Kenyan Obama spending my Medicare on homosexual dog weddings. That's a pet. Their unlikely friendship weathered the years and survived the dire economic times we live in, all because of the black president, and not at all because of the white one before him. Hoke. Yes, Miss Puddin's Rudy. Really. You're my best friend. I'm just glad you realize that the welfare state only serves to keep you people down, and we should eliminate it and instead give tax cuts to the rich and wealthy. Small businesses, jobs, Putin, Sandra! You said it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, don't die, Miss Daisy. That will make us all very sad, and then we'll think about the bad things like the droughts and endless overseas wars. Oh, ham hocks by fucking a one legged rooster. I'm not gonna die. You're not? No, not in this version, because, you know, the economy. Instead, let's have an upbeat dance scene. Big stuff. Oh, I mean, it's wait, like, it it, it, yeah, I know. Oh, it was, yeah. it was you guys. Yeah. I mean, it was like amazing. Your, your Stallone is so good, you don't yeah. recognize yourself. That was me. That was you being Stallone. Did I have a stroke? It seems like you well, have. A I may have had a stroke. But that's it. But that's his. That's his craft. That's his technique. Is he gets so deep into the character that then he forgets Jeez. he's done it. Yeah, he's. A, it, it, mm, no. I, I can't hold a candle to this yeah. guy. That's uh. That's a uh, hiatus show what, number yeah. four, three. Four? I have a question though. What? It, is it like I'm a white dude doing Bill yeah. Cosby? Is that racist? Yeah. Oh, it's extremely racist. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Yeah. And I would like to publicly distance myself. <laughs> I would like to literally distance myself. <laughs> so uh, until next time, the concession stand has been closed due to well. Health code violations, general lack of interest, lack of inventory. And NCAACP <laughs> boycott. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, that reminds me. I want to write in uh, my Chris Tucker. No, the sketch. no. All right, no. I, I got to go. Where are you going? We got to go. I do, wait, I can do Danny Glover, too. Where are you guys going? <laughs>